using WebEx on your interactive display. The purpose of this video is to help teachers create an easier workflow by sharing their screen with virtual students over WebEx using their interactive display. Throughout this video, you will see visual cues. A red frame around the border of the video means that you are working from the point of view of the interactive display. A blue frame means that you are looking from the point of view of the laptop. To begin, Log into WebEx with your credentials using your laptop and start your meeting as you normally do. Double check all of your settings and select Start Meeting. On your interactive display, open WebEx. In this video, I selected the icon on my home screen. Remember, you can open WebEx from ClassLink as well. Select the green Start Meeting button once you have logged in. This may say Join Meeting instead. Regardless, it is the meeting that is already in progress on your laptop. Again, double check your settings and select the green Start button on the second screen. At this point, several pop-up menus started appearing. In the pop-ups, I was instructed that the account logged into the interactive display was automatically made the host, and the account logged into the laptop was made co-host. I was also made the presenter. In the end, it doesn't really matter which of you is host or co-host. I will review later how to toggle the presenter role. When you are signed into two devices, you have to account for feedback by disconnecting the audio on one of the devices. I will show you how on both devices, but strongly recommend disconnecting the laptop. Otherwise, when you share content over the interactive display, the virtual students won't be able to hear it. From your laptop, find the Mute Unmute button on your screen. Next to the bottom is a small down arrow that opens a pop-up menu. At the bottom, you will find a little microphone that says Switch Audio next to it. Select it from the menu. This opens a secondary pop-up window. Select the red Disconnect button. This ensures that your laptop will not input or output any noises. To reconnect the audio, select the Connect Audio button. On the pop-up window, hover over Use Computer Audio. Then select the blue Connect button. On the interactive display, it works almost exactly the same way. Find the down arrow next to the Mute Unmute button and select it. Then, select the little microphone that says Switch Audio next to it. On the pop-up window, select the red Disconnect button. To reconnect, tap Connect Audio. On the pop-up menu, touch Computer Audio. Then, touch the blue Connect button. Remember, it is important to disconnect the audio from the laptop, so I'm going to go back and make sure it is disconnected before I play any media on my interactive display. To switch presenter, open the Participants menu. The participant with the green and blue WebEx logo by their picture is the current presenter. To change presentation rights, click and drag the blue and green WebEx logo to a different participant. In the pop-up window, select the pink Make Presenter button. Remember, I want to make sure to give presentation rights to the interactive display. So for my workflow, I am going to move the WebEx logo back to the host, which in this case is the interactive display. So far, I have logged into WebEx from my laptop and the interactive display. I have disconnected the audio from my laptop, I made the interactive display the presenter, and I made sure that the interactive display is unmuted. Now, it's time to share the interactive display with my students. The bottom of your WebEx screen on the interactive display is the same as it is when it's on your laptop. Find the Share button. It looks like a box with an upward arrow at the top. Select the screen you want to share. I usually select the option to share the entire screen rather than just one window. 
Now I'm going to show my class an Amoeba Sisters science video. Hello there, and thanks for visiting. This is Pinky with my silent artist Amoeba Sister, Petunia. We are the two single-celled amoebas behind our YouTube channel, The Amoeba Sisters. Now in our human form, we actually are two sisters. Two sisters on a mission to demystify science with Here's a glimpse of what my students were seeing. Hello there, and thanks for visiting. This is Pinky with my silent artist amoeba sister, Petunia. We are the two single-celled amoebas behind our YouTube channel, The Amoeba Sisters. Now, in our human form, we actually are two sisters. Two sisters on a mission to demystify science with... The disappearing menu at the top of your screen looks a little different on your interactive display than on your laptop. It includes a few extra buttons that are pretty intuitive. I suggest that you jump in and test them on your own time. There really isn't a lot that you can mess up. To view the screen as your students see it, pull down in the orange bar at the bottom of the disappearing menu. You can see exactly what they see. To hide the meeting window, select the down arrow in the upper left hand corner of the window. You can also move it around and get it out of your way. To admit late students without disrupting your teaching flow, pull down on the disappearing menu. You will see a red dot next to the participants button. Select it. A secondary menu will pop up and allow you to admit your late student. When you are ready to stop sharing your screen, Pull down on the disappearing menu and select the orange Stop Share button in the upper left hand corner. Class dismissed! Remember, if you need help with this or other technology, please submit a help ticket for technology coaching or learning in Zendesk.